Around the globe, small and medium-sized companies represent more than 90% of all businesses and they contribute about 65% to the global GDP. These are companies that are poised to grow into the big league of business. They are leaders in the making. Over the next few weeks, we'll traverse the length and breadth of India to discover them and to bring their stories for you. Welcome to the very first episode of Leaders of Tomorrow. On the show today, the story of a young engineer who spotted an opportunity in India's BPO revolution and gave his dream the wings to fly. We'll also travel to Ludhiana, where Muskan Power Infrastructure is transforming the electricity space by manufacturing and exporting power transformers to the world. And a small company in Gurgaon is catering to all the accessories to go with your style. Our first story today is about a young entrepreneur who gave up the comfort of his stable monthly salary to start his own travel agency. And at the turn of the millennium, the BPO boom elevated his business to an all-new high. Here's that story. Ten years ago, a young mechanical engineer decided to follow his passion for travel. And as the story goes, there was no looking back. Arun Kharat quit his cushy corporate job and started Wings Travels with humble beginnings as a travel agent. But the entrepreneurial bug in him took him to greater heights. The idea behind the foundation of Wings Travels was basically love and passion for travel. It started a long time back when I was working with a few uh, big companies. At that time, we thought the travel market was very unstructured, very small and it had a huge potential. Seeing the rapidly growing BPO industry at the dawn of the millennium, he spotted the gap in allied industries market and began providing transportation solutions to call centres for their employees. What started with just one cab in Mumbai is now one of Pune's largest cab vendors with BPOs across Maharashtra as its clients. In the year 2000, in Mumbai, when BPO started mushrooming in Mindspace, in Malad, this is where we put in our first step and started our activity with just one car. And uh, we worked in Mumbai for three, four years and slowly we moved to Pune in the year 2003. Wings Travels has come a long way with operations across Maharashtra servicing some of the most well-known multinationals. Unfazed by the recession, the company's turnover has crossed 60 crore rupees and is expected to grow by leaps and bounds in the coming years. Past few years it has been very good. In fact, we have been doubling our turnover every year. Today, Wings Travels has a dedicated 400-member team working relentlessly to deliver unmatched customer satisfaction to all its clients. I just confirmed the timing you require for two hours, right? This has helped the company back valuable multinational corporate clients including WNS, 3G, Merce Globe and Ventura to name a few. In fact, it has also launched a radio cab service in Pune City and still continues with the ticketing business that the company started with. The services what we offer is basically a bouquet of services where when a customer comes to office, all services should be made available to him. Anything related to travel, once he walks in, he need not walk out of the office. I've been handling the department of tour and air ticketing. The entire department does the ticketing for international domestic. It starts from passport, railway ticket, whether it's the car, normal, everything related to travel from start to end. Wings Travels doesn't just cater to Maharashtra. It already has operations in Hyderabad and plans to go pan-India in the near future. Apart from being just a simple end-to-end -end travel solutions company, it also focuses on being a good corporate citizen. The company has gone green with its fleet of radio cabs in Pune that run on eco-friendly fuel. Apart from this, the company also organizes training camps imparting knowledge on traffic management and better driving skills across the city. We do joint activities with the police and with the RTO. We conduct road safety programs, road safety weeks, we conduct seminars. 
and we have got professional trainers who impart this uh, training uh, in defensive driving, in soft skills and uh, controlling road rage and this is open for everybody. Over the years, Wings Travels has quite literally spread its wings and flown into new adventures. It has carved a niche for itself in the hospitality and medical tourism sectors as well. It maintains a steady client base from Europe and the Middle East, where medical tourism has caught on well as a concept. Their Wings Wellness Division caters to pamper and soothe the senses of harried travellers. Its spas offer a gamut of services along with massages, facials and hydrotherapy. Medical tourism in India has got a huge potential as of now. As I said, my exposure towards medical tourism was more because we have a family of doctors within us too. So medical tourism is a big, big business what I see and uh, is basically five star uh, treatments provided to these foreign nationals at a very cheaper cost. One driving point of this company is being able to spot business opportunities and being creatively able to utilize existing resources to tap them. The software used by the radio cab services to function efficiently has in fact been programmed by the company in-house. With business opportunities in India increasing and a constantly mobile younger generation tightening their grips on the world map, the travel industry is only bound to soar higher. In some way, just like the future of Wings Travels. So that was Wings Travels soaring high in the skies of entrepreneurship. Let's slip into a quick break, but coming up on the other side, Muskan Power Infrastructure is lighting up the lives of many enterprises across the world. You're watching Leaders of Tomorrow on ET Now.